We've got a bit of a problem here. In this video clip, the branch is supposed to look like it's breaking under this person's weight. But as you can see, if I pause it, what we actually did was drop a log onto the branch, and then the branch shattered, which is great. The only problem is the log ended up in the shot, so now it's time to see if we can get this log out of this shot and make it a lot less distracting. Now, admittedly, this is a fairly specific use case, but making stuff disappear from shots is actually something I find myself doing very frequently, so it could be very helpful for you to stick around and see how this works. Now, I'm starting out here in the compositor, and one of the first things we want to do with this shot is make sure that under color management, our view transform is set to standard. Now, with that out of the way, I'm hitting F12, and then shift alt s to save that out as a freeze frame and i'm going to haul that freeze frame into gimp and i'm going to use the clone tool just to paint back in some of the background there once you've exported that image out back in the blender compositor we can just go shift a input and image and load that in now we're going to need a mask to mix these together so i'm going to hop over to the layout tab and open up a movie clip editor and let's just select our footage here and tab into the mask editor. Now starting in the middle of the footage, I'm just holding control and clicking and dragging. And I'm just going to make my way all the way around the log here. Make sure auto keyframes are checked so we can animate this mask. And then move on and just align it to the next few frames. I'm keeping a bit of space around the mask without erasing anything too important, just so that we can blur it out a little bit later on. Nice! So we shot this with a handheld camera, and that means there's a bit of camera motion it's not very dramatic, but if we don't address it, our clean plate that we clone stamped out isn't going to line up properly. So here I've just tabbed back into tracking mode, and I'm tracking a bit of the background. Then once we've got that locked in, we can head over to the stabilization tab, check 2D stabilization, and with the tracker selected, let's hit the plus here. And this information will be super handy once we go into compositing here. Now I'm just going to go shift A, color, and add in a mix node to mix our image and movie clip together. And for the factor, I'm going to go shift A, input, and mask, and here we're just going to select the mask we created. Now that's not real pretty at the moment, so let's go Shift A, Filter, and Blur, and we can really just crank this to get soft edges. Cool. So that clean plate still isn't going to be lining up, so let's add in that stabilization with Shift A, Distortion, and Stabilize 2D, and I'm going to drop that right after the movie clip, and then make sure we've got the correct movie clip in there. Then let's use Shift D and duplicate it and drop it after our mixing operation, and then check that to invert. So what it does is it stabilizes it, mixes it, and then destabilizes it to have the original camera motion. Now even after adding the stabilization nodes, for some reason it still wasn't working. And it turns out the issue was right at the start, I got the freeze frame for the clean plate from the start of the movie clip, not from the start of the blender scene. So it was about 395 frames off. So yeah, take that as a little word of warning. Uh, that would definitely mess it up. Okay, so here's the before and after. And I think it actually looks better in this tutorial than it did in the movie. If you stuck around this long, I have a gift for you. And that's these free seamless smoke assets. They're super handy. I use them quite frequently in my projects. There's a link in the description if you want those. And I hope you have an excellent day.